you who have watched my bulk upload CSV video, you found out that I am a drag and drop kind of girl. But in this video, I want to show you how you can actually schedule these and be done. Yes, you're going to love this video. I'm getting better and better and better at it. I am going to show you how to bring in this bulk upload exactly the way you want it to work. So those of you doing those bulk upload CSVs, you are going to love this. All right, so let's go into our social planner. We're in marketing and we're in our social planner and we all know we're gonna do a new post. We're gonna say upload CSV. Right here, we're gonna download the sample and when it downloads the sample, let's go ahead and open this up and here we go. So what's been happening and what made me do the drag and drop, which now I'm very excited to not have to do, is this time and date wasn't ever working and I couldn't figure it out. I was following all the instructions. So you wanna make sure that you understand that this is a 24 hour clock. So you've got your 1300, 1400, 1500, 1600 for your afternoon posting times. So you definitely want to make sure that you have access to that. And you can Google 24 hour clock to 12 hour clock and you can see exactly the conversion of how that works. So what happened was I was coming in here. Let me go ahead and right click in my CSV and I'm gonna select format. And what was happening was it was bringing it in as a custom date format and we don't want that. So what we want it to be is a text format. So here's what I'm gonna do. I just right click this, select the format cells and then we're gonna select text. Once you hit text, select OK. And now what we wanna do is go in and put that date in using the exact same format. So what I'm gonna do using that same format is let's, let's just do, it's gonna be 2023. And again, I'm looking right here at the top, the way it's supposed to be laid out. So 2023 dash 04, we'll do that for April. The date is gonna be April 1st. Then you hit one space and then let's do this for just a simple 12 o'clock post. I'm going to do 12 o'clock and let's just say we're going to do it at 12, 12 o'clock, 15 minutes, and then I'll leave it at zero, zero. I could do 1205, 1201, 1202. The seconds don't really matter, but you need to have the seconds in here. So for example, let's say if your posting times are popular at two o'clock, we usually have like 210, 215, 216. Once I just enter out now, it's saved in the correct format. So my date, month, day, hour, seconds, it's all right. And there just needs to be one space. And then all I do is I just copy this and paste it down to whatever it is that I'm importing. So I can bring these all in at one time or I can change the date. So let's just say I want this one to be the second. Let's make this one be the third of April. So you see that's the day. And then this one is going to be the 4th of April. Then I'll just turn around and I'll do this one the 5th of April, the 6th of April. So now I have a daily post. Now, if I was looking at a calendar and I wanted these to be at certain dates, obviously look at your calendar, but you get the idea. And I'm gonna leave the rest of these. Again, I'm gonna show you how we bring in our bulk post. I'm gonna be bringing in content. I'm gonna be bringing in an image URL and I'm not doing any videos or anything like that. So I wanna make sure everything is correct. Of course, you guys know that I make my own spreadsheets. So here is my worksheet. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna copy my comments. I'm gonna bring back open that awesome worksheet. I'm gonna go ahead and copy control V my content. And now I wanna take my image URLs right click copy and now i'm going to come to my image url i'm going to hit paste and let's go back over to that date so you can see i got a few more i need some more dates on but i'm going to go ahead and just copy this so you can, now you can see all i'm hitting is control or command c and again you just need to make sure that when you right click hit format cells make sure it says the text version okay now I've got it all ready. Let's go ahead and save my CSV. So I'm gonna save my CSV as, and let's just call it save as April motivation, let's just say. Save my CSV. Now let's go back into the planner and we're gonna upload my CSV. How did I get to that? Let's cancel out. I went to social planner my blue button, I'm gonna upload the CSV. I'm gonna upload that file I just saved called April Motivation. When I bring it in, I'm gonna hit next. 
when I bring it in, these are going to go to, let's say, a Facebook account. Again, you can check all the other ones. I'm going to hit process CSV. You're going to see it's in progress. Let's go ahead and refresh. And when I refresh, let's go to CSV. You're going to see review and schedule. Watch what happens when I hit review and schedule. All my comments are here. All my Facebook or whatever I wanted to post is here. You can see the images right here, but look what happens when to post April 1st at 1215. So, okay, great. I've got everything set. So guess what? All I have to do now is import my post. Are you sure you want to import them? Yes. All the dates and time look great. I love it. Bring it in. Now watch what happens when I open my planner. I'm going to go to April. And look what just happened. All of my posts are set. They're all ready and scheduled and done. Another way to check that out is you can go to scheduled posts right here and look what we got. Scheduled posts, all 12 of those. So if I want to, I can still go into my planner. And if I say, okay, you know what? I really just wanted to move this to another day. Just drag and drop them to another day. And there we go. Pretty easy. You can still do the drag and drop. You don't have to go in here and hit edit and publish. It's already ready to go. Remember green means it's posted on the clock. Orange means it's scheduled. And let me zoom right in here so you can see. You see the orange clock, bulk uploading, setting up your times, you're done. The end. Just a quick recap. What's going to happen is when you export the CSV, just make sure that when you export that CSV, you do set up your text column. Make sure that you are following this format, the year, dash, the month, dash, the day, and then the hours, minutes, and seconds. And then once you do this, when you right click, it's going to actually be scheduled to date, but all you want to do is make sure to select the text and then go in and then start putting in your date and times and you are done. I'm actually going to, because I'm so excited about this, I'm actually going to be changing this spreadsheet on a full on calendar that I use to schedule to use this exact format when I'm scheduling my date and times to all of my bulk uploads. So I am really excited to do that inside of my master schedule. I'll be having a calendar. I'll put these in and now it's one complete import done, ready to go. Awesome. And then if you do the approver, it's all set up for the date and times as well. The only difference is you're waiting for the approver to approve them. But other than that, look what happened. I just got a bunch of posts scheduled and ready to go. So CSV bulk upload. If you're having issues, check that out. This will fix it. And I'll see you on the next video.